YouTube, welcome back to the channel, Lynn's Smiles, where we like to talk about books because literature makes us smile. So today we are doing my May wrap up for you guys. We are just going to talk about all of the books that I read in the month of May. I got through exactly six books this month, not the exact same books that I planned on reading in my TBR, but six books nonetheless. So the first book that I read in the month of May is Robert Frost's New Enlarged Anthology. I say new, it's old, but it's called the New Enlarged Anthology. And um, this is uh, obviously by Robert Frost with an introduction by Lewis Untermeyer. I hadn't been planning on reading this book, but my friend Kendra picked it up for me, knowing that I'm a little bit obsessed with Robert Frost. And I sort of spent the whole rest of the weekend reading it, so that's why this one's on the list. I don't have a whole lot to say on this book, apart from as cliche as Robert Frost may be, he is seriously a magical word and ninja that makes me see the world differently, and I will always love him for that. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars, but I really wish I could rate all of the poems individually because some of them are just too good and way better than some other ones. Some of them drag the book down, which is why it's 4 out of 5 stars and not 5 out of 5 stars. But if you do like Robert Frost, this collection is pretty great. The second book that I read during this month was Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. So I have been hearing so much hype about this book through booktube and goodreads and everywhere and let me just tell you guys, it did not disappoint at all. If you don't know, Six of Crows is a YA fantasy novel about six somewhat villainous creatures who pull off this incredible kidnapping and run into all of these crazy obstacles along the way. I kind of hate adding to the hype pool here. But seriously, this book was just too good. I could not put it down. My eyes were glued and I was yelling at the book as I was reading. Five out of five stars easy, which is what led me to drive directly to the library after finishing and stray from my TBR list to pick up the next book that I read in May. And that book was Crooked Kingdom, also by Lee Bardugo. Now if you've read Six of Crows, you understand why I could not wait to go get Crooked Kingdom. Like I needed that book right after finishing Six of Crows. Right off where- blah, 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 blah. So this book picked up right where the other one left off. I can't get too into a summary without sort of ruining Six of Crows, but just know that this book was also phenomenal. This duology had everything you could ever want in a fantasy novel. Adventure, action, friendship, romance, hatred, vengeance, crazy world building and magical powers, beautiful writing, and seriously one of the most complex plots that I have ever had the privilege of reading. Clearly I have a lot to say about these books, so if you guys want me to do a full length review on the duology, you can just leave me a comment down below. For now, I will just say 5 out of 5 stars and well done Lee Bardugo. You are my spirit animal. Okay, moving on, the classic that I read this month was Paris in the 20th Century by Jules Verne. This one is known as Verne's forgotten novel because it wasn't actually published until way after his death. Verne originally wrote it in 1863 but focused it a hundred years ahead of his time thinking about what Paris might look like then. So this one is about a boy named Michael who loves literature and art but finds himself in this strange world, Paris in 1960, that places no value on literature or art but only on science and technology. I did enjoy this one. It was pretty similar to the other books that I've read by Verne in terms of style, and it was short and easy to read. The predictions that Verne made were actually really interesting. They were kind of eerily accurate, and I liked how surreal that felt. This one got a solid 3 out of 5 stars, only because I kept comparing it to other books that I had read by Verne, like Journey to the Center of the Earth or The Mysterious Island, which I thought were better, but it was still solid. The fifth book that I read this month was Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Again, I know I'm really late jumping on the bandwagon here, but hey, at least I showed up to the party. I'm late, but I'm here. I had actually planned on reading this book for my popular in the community during the month of June, but I kind of got through it too fast. This one came out in 2013, and on the off chance you don't know anything about it, it tells the story of two sort of awkward teens falling in love in the 1980s. I've been hearing amazing things about this book for years now and have been meaning to pick it up but just never really got around to it. I also read Fangirl, also by Rainbow Rowell, and loved it, and seriously, Eleanor and Park did not disappoint. I gave this one 4 to 5 stars, 
it was a fantastic read. Y'all should pick it up. Okay, so I closed out my month with another book of poetry, one that I picked up on my last Barnes & Nobles trip, and that is Our Numbered Days by Neil Hilborn. It's just pretty. It's just a pretty color. <laughs> I actually found out about this book a while back when there was a video going around with Hilborn reciting one of his poems as slam poetry, OCD. Uh, if you're interested, there is a link in the description box. After I saw that video, I really, really wanted to read more, or hear more, or just know more, which is how I found this book. His poetry is funny and unique and touches on all kinds of serious issues ranging from depression to obsessive compulsive to just relationship drama. I give this one 4 out of 5 stars and I highly recommend it. So those are the books that I got through during the month of May. If you guys want a full review on any of them, just let me know down below and stay tuned for my June TBR which will be coming up very soon. Please like and subscribe if you want more videos like this and I will see you guys next time. Bye yo!